Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new tutorial video of PowerPoint School. So today we'll learn how to create and animate our own solar system in just PowerPoint. But let me give you a disclaimer first. I have tried to design all the planets as accurately as possible, but the animation is just a symbolic form and not how actually our whole solar system works. I have divided this tutorial into a few different sections. So the timestamps are on the screen. If you want to start watching from any particular section, you can simply skip to that part. So without wasting any further time, let's start out this tutorial. First we need to add a gradient background. So just switch from solid field to gradient field, you'll get two different stops. We need another one. So just click on the plus icon to add another stop. Now select the first gradient stop from more color option. Go to custom and here we need to add a color code. Press OK. Select the second gradient stop. This time we'll add a different color code and that is dark blue which will be the main color of our slide background. Next select the third one from more colors option. Go to custom. Add the color code that we have used for the first gradient stop. It will create a dark space on both sides of our slide. Now to add some circular lines, let's pick an oval shape and make it a perfect circle. To adjust the size, I will set it to 3.55 inches from both sides. After that, place the circle in the center middle position of our slide. Here in format shape, select no fill and from line, make sure it is selected solid line. Let's add a custom color. Here I'm typing the hex value of the color that I want to use for these circular lines. Still we need a few more customization. So increase the width by two point, dash type long dash double dot and set the cap type round. So our first circular line is ready. Now we can simply make a duplicate copy and adjust the size setting it to 4.90 inches from both sides. Using the alignment tool, place it in the center middle of our slide. In total, we need 8 circular lines and these lines are going to represent the orbits of our planets. By selecting a circle, press Ctrl D to make a duplicate copy and adjust the size. Each line needs to be bigger than the previous one and to match the gap between these lines, I will increase the size of each line by 1.35 inches. In this way, we need to increase the size of these lines one by one. Just keep adding the value of 1.35 inches until you have a total of eight circular lines. Here I'm adding the final circle and the size is 13 inches from both sides. Make sure to set the align center middle of our slide. So now we can move forward to the next part where I'll show you how to design these space elements such as the sun and other planets with stars. First, I'm adding a circle shape change the size to 2.4 inches from both sides, set the align center middle of our slide from format shape, keep it solid fill and remove the outline. As it will represent the sun, go to more color options and let's add the hex code for a light yellow color. To create a smooth glowing effect, decrease the color transparency to 80%. Press Ctrl D to make another copy of it. This time we'll decrease the size and make it slightly smaller than the previous circle. Place it in the center middle. Set the color transparency to 70% which is 10% lower than the previous one. Same way take another copy, decrease the size, place it in the center middle of our slide and lower the transparency level 10% more. You can see it is very simple. So this is the final circle that we are adding, decreasing the size, place it in the center middle of our slide. This time we will set the color transparency to 0%. You can see we got the glowing effect that we needed. Now we can start adding all the planets. Here I am taking another copy of these circles. We need to add another shape here. So first make a duplicate copy of this smaller circle only and place it on the previous circle. Pick a rectangle shape cover only the half portion of this circle and remove the shape outline from this rectangle. Now what I'll do select these two shapes from merge shape I'll select subtract and we'll get a half circle. Let's just change the color to black and set the transparency to 85%. Here you can see we have two different sides light and dark. It represents the side which is facing the sun is getting the light and the other side is darker. Now simply change the color of this circle so that it can represent the planets that we are adding. First I'm adding a green color code for our home planet which is Earth. So after using the hex code for the first time, we will get the exact color in our recent color section. So from here I'm just changing the color of these circles one by one. Then what I'll do, holding the control button, select these two shapes, press control G to group them together. Finally we have added the first planet and let's add a text box so that we can type some information for each planet. Here first type the name of the planet, I will change the default font from Calibri to Bridge Race. This is a free font and looks futuristic to me. I'll provide the font link in the description of the video. Changing the size and color of this text, click on this small arrow. From character spacing, I'll select expanded by one point. Let's make a duplicate copy of this text box. It will be the information box for our planet. So decrease the font size to five point 
and change the font color to white. Add some demo text here, bring the text box a little bit upward, add these two boxes into a group. As our first planet is ready with the Nazari text boxes, we can simply make a duplicate copy of this, bring them on this orbit line and change the name of the planet to Venus from more color options. Let's add the custom hex code for this particular planet and press OK. As we have already used that hex code for the first time, we will get this exact same color in our recent color section. So from here, I'm just changing the color of these circles one by one. So this is very straightforward process and this way we can add the other planets as I have used different color codes for these planets. So you can get these with the template file or I'll provide the hex codes in the description of the video. So now we have all the planets but something is still missing. We can decorate our slide with some small stars. Let's pick and add a star shape which has four point. From shape fill, change the color to white and remove the shape outline. Now just make some duplicate copy of this star shape and place it here and there, keep some gap and this way we can decorate the whole slide with these small stars. It is very easy, after adding all this star shape we need to select all of them and from the merge shape select union so that we can convert these individual shapes into a single shape. Finally our design process is done and now we can start adding the animations. Here I am in the animation tab, first we will start with this big circular line. So from add animation, select zoom. Keep this on click, duration 0.75 second and no delay time for the first circular line. Select the second one from add animation, select zoom, set the time start with previous duration 0.75 second and set the delay time 0.05 second. Select the third one from add animation, again select the zoom, set a start with previous duration 0.75 second, increase the delay time 0.05 second more so that is 0.10 second. Select the next circular line, from add animation, select zoom, set start with previous duration 0.75 second and delay 0.15 second. So here you can see we are adding the same zoom animation for these circular lines one by one. The only difference that we are making is in setting the delay time. For each circle we are increasing the delay time by 0.05 second more. From the second circle we have started adding and then increasing the delay time one after another. So here for the last circular line let's set it from 0.30 second to 0.35 second. Now if you want you can play the animations to understand what actually we are doing. After that it is time to animate the sun. First select this circle which has no color transparency. From add animation go to more entrance effect. Here I'll select spinner, press OK. Set the animation time on click, duration 1 second. As I want to use another animation on this circle, so from add animation, select grow or shrink. Set it start with previous, duration 2 second. From effect option, I'll set the custom value 108%. Increase both smooth start and end. To 1 second, select auto reverse from timing, select repeat until end of the slide and press ok. Our first circle is ready. Now for the second circle, we need the same type of animations. Let me show you again. From add animation, go to more entrance effects. From here I'll select spinner, press ok. Set the animation time start with previous duration 1 second. This time we need to add a delay time that is 0.15 second. As we need to add another animation on this particular circle from add animation let's select grow or shrink. Set start with previous. From effect option we need to make some changes that we have already added for the first circle. Here I am typing 108%. Increase the smooth start and end to 1 second. Select auto reverse from timing. Select repeat until end of the slide and press OK. We have two more circles to animate but as we are going to use the same animation settings for these circles to save time what we can do just copy and paste this animation settings here. Click on animation painter tool to copy the animation from the previous circle and paste it on the third circle. Here we just need to increase the delay time by 0.15 second that is 0.15 30 second. For the final circle we will do the same, click on animation painter tool to copy the animation and paste it on our last circle. This time once again we need to increase the delay time by 0.15 second that is 0.45 second. So our sun is ready to glow and spread the light. Let's play the animation from the start and you can see everything is working as expected. So let's add the animations on our first planet which is very close to the sun, Mercury. First select the orbital line of Mercury from add animation, select spin. Set the animation time, keep on click, duration 15 second and from effect option we need to make some changes, select 360 degree counterclockwise, 
from timing select repeat until end of the slide press ok here the line is spinning now to animate the planet we have four circles like the sun as we will use the same type of animations we can simply copy and paste the animations from the sun so what i will do select the first circle from the sun to copy the animation settings click on animation painter tool to copy and paste it on the first circle of mercury only for the first circle change the animation timing from on click to with previous select the second circle from the sun again click on animation painter tool to copy the animation and paste it on the second circle of mercury you just need to keep in mind that here we have four independent circles so if you copy the animation from the third circle then you need to paste it on the exact third circle of the planet that you are animating if you copy from the last one then paste it on the last one simple rule but you need to go with the serial after adding the animations on the planet select the text box to add the animation from add animation i will select fade Set the animation time start with previous, duration 0.25 second and delay 0.75 second. To add another animation on this text box from add animation, select lines from motion paths. From effect option, I will select left. Click on this red arrow and drag this red dot to the right and place it here. Set the animation time start with previous, duration 2 second, delay 0.75 second. Go to effect option, select auto reverse, from timing, select repeat until end of the slide and press ok. Now if you want you can play the animation from here and you can see our first planet is ready with the animation. Now select the second line which is the orbit line of Venus, from add animation, select spin. Keep this on click duration 15 second. Go to effect option. Keep this 360 degree clockwise. If you remember for the previous line we have used counterclockwise. That's why we are using clockwise for this one. And here select repeat until end of the slide and press ok. Now to add the animation on these four circles of Venus. We can just copy the animation from Mercury. So here I am using the animation painter tool to copy the animation from Mercury to Venus. Select the second circle, click on animation painter tool to copy the animation and paste it on it. So that's how easy it is and it will save a lot of time. So let's select the last circle from Mercury, copy the animation and paste it on the last circle of Venus. In the same way we can copy and paste the animation of these text boxes. But this text box is in the opposite side of Mercury so we need to make a change. Select the line animation and from effect option we will change the direction to right. Click on this red arrow and drag this red dot to the left and place it here. That's how we need to add the animations on each planet. The animation process is the same for all these planets. That is why with the help of the animation painter tool, we can just copy and paste the animation effects and settings from one animated planet to another non-animated planet. Take your time and make sure you copy and paste the animations one by one. After animating all the planets, select this star shape from add animation, select fade, set a start with previous to add another animation on this star. From add animation, under emphasis, I will select object color. From effect option, I will change the color to this and I will set the animation time start with previous duration 0.25 second. Then click on this drop down arrow go to effect option here from timing select repeat until end of the slide and press ok and finally we are done if you start the slide so you can see what we have created now let me show you the second type of animation where the space elements are designed in a different layout here before we start adding the animations we need to make some changes this is the tricky part of this animation here if we group a planet with its own circular line and try to rotate it, you can see it is not spinning in a proper way. It has a problem that need to solve. Let me show you how you can solve this. If you can do that in a proper way, the animation process will be very easy. First, you need to make a duplicate copy of the line where you have this problem. For now, I'm just giving it a different color so that we can identify the line. Then place it over the line from where we have made the copy. Holding the control shift. We need to increase the size of this new line, make it bigger. After that, what I'll do from shape outline, I'll select no outline. And you'll get this type of invisible line. Now we have to select these two lines and the planet 
press Ctrl G to make them a group. Let's try to rotate this group and here is the result. You can see we have solved the spinning problem. You need to repeat the whole process for all the planets where you have this type of problem. After making those changes we can add the animations. Let me show you the animation process for a single planet. First rotate and place the planet outside of our slide. Then go to animation tab, from add animation, select spin. And from effect option, here we need to select counterclockwise. Also for this one you need to set a spinning angle, it depends on where in the slide you want to place the planet or how far it should spin. For this particular planet, 33 degree will be enough and if I press ok you can see we got the accurate spin and in this way you can add the animations on all the planets that we have and finally I can say we are done for today. It was a very long tutorial but I have tried to keep it as easy as possible. I have created an animated bundle template for space elements and our solar system in different layouts and designs. So if you are interested you can check the description of the video, I'll provide the link there. It is available to both our Patreon and Buy Me A Coffee sponsors. So that's all from this video. If you have enjoyed this tutorial please give a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I will see you in the next video with another amazing powerpoint tutorial and thanks for watching.